Hey, Wolflings, how's it going? My name is Carnage Dark Wolf, and what you're about to hear, not necessarily see, is a rant video where I talk about the Armament series, a forgotten franchise created by the no longer existent company known as 3DO, the same company who made the infamous video game console of the same name in the early to mid 90s. I originally wrote this rant somewhere between the late summer and early fall of 2018, and I'm just now getting around to doing a video about it. I mostly wanted to do this after seeing the video about the Armament game that was uploaded by ContraWolf some years ago, seeing as I was not the only one who thought the Armament series doesn't deserve all the hate it got, and probably still gets to this day. Without further ado, here's my two cents on the Armament series, created by 3DO. Sometime during the summer of last year, I was playing Army Men Sarge's Heroes for the N64. It's a fun little third-person shooter that tends to get a lot of flack. It's not horrible or anything, but it's no masterpiece either. It's just a decent third-person shooter that I think is fun to play. And come on, the main character is voiced by legendary voice actor Jim Cummings. No green soldier ever won a war by melting for his country. He won it by making the tan soldier melt for his country. Believe me, you know exactly what to do when you step into a puddle of melted plastic that used to be your best friend. The tan are the enemy. Wade into them. Melt their plastic. War is not black and white. It is green and tan. All right, then. That's all I got to say. Oh, and one more thing. I want you boys to know that I'll be proud to lead you to victory. Dismissed. So, around that same time, I looked up some playthroughs on YouTube, and the most interesting ones I saw were the ones of both Sarge's Heroes 1 and 2, uploaded by Blue Demon of Fire. He had some interesting things to say throughout both playthroughs, and they honestly did make me laugh. At the time, I thought it was a shame that there was never a Sarge's Heroes 3. Until one day, I got curious and decided to look up the whole Armament series. And that's when I learned there were a lot more than the ones I knew about already. Before and after the two Sarge's Heroes games. It turned out the last one in the Sarge's saga was Sarge's War, which, like most of the other Armament games, got a lot of flack most notably for taking a darker, more serious tone in its setting and story. I don't know, I think it works with what that game was trying to do, but at the same time, I imagine those who had played the two Sarge's Heroes games like I did were probably more accustomed to the light-hearted nature and humor that was present in those games. That doesn't really make Sarge's War terrible, I've played much worse. So... About almost every retrospective I found on YouTube when it came to the Army Men series pretty much just consisted of the person who made the video just taking a massive dump on all of the games. I mean, okay, not every single Army Men game is that good. There are the bad ones. Soldiers of Misfortune, which is the last Army Men game that was made in the whole franchise before 3DO was permanently shut down, was pretty awful from what I've heard, but I haven't played it myself, so I have no opinion on it. Portal Runner wasn't all that great either. Yes, it counts as an Army Men game since it features characters from that series. Vicky Grimm, Sergeant Hawk, Bridget Blue, and a brief cameo of General Plastro. Green Rogue wasn't necessarily bad in its own right, but definitely one of the weaker entries. There was Toys in Space, which I've heard wasn't good, but again, no opinion since I've never played it. And some can probably debate that the original PC version of the first Army Men game hasn't aged particularly well. I just think it's one of those games where it's easy once you figure it out. So even though there are games in this whole series that aren't good for one reason or another, does that make the series overall bad? I personally don't think so. I don't know why these people who did retrospectives on this series, for the most part, just crapped all over it, making it sound like none of the games are good. For all I know, they might just be used to other games that are similar, but probably do a better job. Uh, maybe. As for me, 
I think most of these games do their job just fine. I like the two Sarge's Heroes games. Sarge's War was different in tone, yes, but I think it's also a decent third-person shooter. The Army Men games on the GBA were kind of fun too. There's the PC version of Army Men World War, probably the best of the isometric games in the series. Uh, some Army Men games on PC played in an isometric top-down perspective. Army Men 3D is pretty fun, I'd say a little easier to get into than the first Army Men game on PC. Army Men 3D is supposed to be a remake of that very game. The Air Attack games, retitled Air Combat for the N64 versions, were super fun, flying around in a helicopter, blowing stuff up. And Army Men RTS is especially good from what I hear, one of several good console real-time strategy games. 3DO doesn't exist in any form now, so it's definite we're never going to see another Army Men game, especially after the supposed train wreck that was Soldiers of Misfortune. Poor 3DO. Made an infamous console in the early to mid-90s, that doesn't mean the console itself was a bad one or anything, then went on to make games for franchises like Might and Magic and Army Men right up until they were permanently shut down several years ago at this point in time. The reason I wanted to do this little rant, or tangent, or whatever you want to call it, was because of seeing the video Contra Wolf did about the Army Men games. Like him, I think the Army Men series gets a lot of flack that I don't feel it completely deserves. Sure, the games aren't great, but was anyone really expecting them to be masterpieces? As long as they're good enough in their own right, I think anyone can enjoy these games. Coming from someone who did used to have these Men of Green as a kid, making a video game series about them isn't the worst idea. If I was someone who worked in the video game industry, I'd have done the same thing if I was given the opportunity. But now, it's just one of many dead franchises that will likely never see the light of day again, and I find that pretty sad. 